Welcome. In a previous video, I extracted an audio track from a video file using FFmpeg. In this video, I'm going to be adding a colored background to that audio file. So the reason you might do this is if you have an audio file and you're submitting it somewhere, but they require it to be a video, so you could add just a blank background to it. So I'll put a link in the description to the commands I'm using on my website, and I'll also put a link to FFmpeg notes where you can find installation information. And then I'll also have a link to my FFmpeg playlist. So I have this train whistle file I can open and play. Okay, and I want to turn that into a video with a background that's say blue. So I want to type ffmpeg space dash i space and then train whistle underscore audio dot m4a and I'm in the desktop on my terminal and the file is on the desktop. Next I want to type dash f space lav phi space dash i. Next you want to type color equals c equals and then the color you want and I'll choose blue. So there are a number of different colors you can use. If you go to FFmpeg's website, I'll put a link below to this, they have a listing of the named colors you can use, and you can also use hexadecimal just like you would with HTML, and you can have alpha channels and things like that. So you can see there's lots of names, dark red, dark orange, green, green yellow, magenta. So lots of options there. I'm just going to go with blue. And then I need to define the size, so I'll say colon S equals, and I'll say, I'll just do 640 by 480. That should render a little faster. But you could easily do 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. And then colon R equals, and I'll do 15 frames per second. So you could do 30 or 60 or uh, anything like that. Then I'll say space dash A codec copy. So what this will do is it will copy the audio from the input file to the output file. So it won't re-encode it or change it or lose any of the value. And I'll type space dash shortest. So we're mixing two tracks here. We're mixing the audio track and we're mixing a colored background. And the colored background will go on forever. So what we're saying here is use the shortest of the two tracks. So that, this will make the final file the size of the original audio file since it's the shortest. So now I'll choose an output name. I'll call it train whistle blue background background.mp4. Okay, so that actually did have to create the video file. We have it here. I'll open this up in QuickTime. And here we have the blue background, I'll hit play. There we go. And if I clear my screen, I'll type FF probe. Take a look at this file here. And here we have the audio file that we had previously and we've added in an H.264 encoded video track at 15 frames per second. So I don't know how useful this will be to people, but I just want to make a video on it just in case someone needed it. In a future video, I'll show how to put your audio on top of a static picture. So in the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.